hello welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here my name is Jen I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Monday so it's another meal prep video I'm tired this is the look of a new puppy mom I am exhausted it has been a very busy stressful sleepless couple of days so I'm so thrilled that I was still able to bring you a meal prep despite having a new puppy and just getting him adapted in our home with Diesel and Lola so I have three really delicious recipes for you this week I have breakfast lunch and a dessert that is so incredibly delicious so if you're excited for another meal prep give this video a big huge thumbs up and don't forget if you're new or you're not yet subscribed I'd love to have you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I do meal preps every single Monday. Down in the description box, you'll find the links and discounts to everything I share with you in today's video, as well as all of my other favorite things, my Facebook group, we'd love to have you join that community, and my nutrition coaching website where I can offer personalized macros and calories to you. For those of you that have taken advantage of this service, you're saying you've lost the most weight, you feel the best, you have a sense of freedom and satisfaction from doing your macros. So definitely take advantage of that service as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you're looking for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one help, I have 30 and 60 minute sessions. So that's everything down in that description box. So check that out. And now let's jump into this week's meal prep. breakfast this week I'm making lemon poppy seed muffins I'm just going to pair this with some eggs and maybe some bacon or sausage but for the muffins you're going to need one lemon salt non-fat Greek yogurt any type of milk of your choice I'm using this almond cashew and macadamia nut milk baking powder baking soda powdered sugar of course some poppy seeds vanilla extract flour Monk fruit sweetener is what I'm using from Lakanto. I will link Lakanto down in the description box with a 15% discount for you. If you're interested in picking up Lakanto, that is also what is in my powdered sugar here is the monk fruit powdered. And then we're going to need a couple of eggs as well. So let's make our breakfast. We're also going to need some light butter. I almost forgot that part. So the first thing that we're going to do is add three quarters of a cup of our monk fruit sweetener or whatever sugar alternative that you're using and one half of a cup of light butter. This was actually a third cup so I had to measure it out on my food scale but one half of a cup of light butter and then with your handheld mixer we're just going to mix this until it is nice and creamy. <laughs> I beat this for about two minutes and that seemed to get it nice and creamy. And then we're going to add in half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then I'm going to crack in two whole eggs. With your handheld mixer, we're going to mix until incorporated. Once that is mixed together, we are going to add one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, a pinch of salt, two full tablespoons of poppy seeds, and one and three quarter cup of flour. And then on low speed, we're going to mix this again. About halfway through mixing, we're going to add in one quarter cup of milk of your choice. Again, I use the Trader Joe's almond milkadamia milk. And then we're going to add in lemon. I'm gonna do a full lemon, the juice of one medium-sized lemon. And then I'm going to just mix it again very slowly. You don't wanna over mix. We just wanna make sure everything is incorporated. Here's our batter. It looks really good and it smells amazing. So I went ahead and I sprayed a muffin tin with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to use the largest scoop in my scoop pack. I did pick these up off of Amazon. I'll make sure I link these down below. And we're going to just scoop in 12 muffins. I do have my oven preheating to 425 degrees. It's 1 a.m. and I ain't tired. I can stand right here and talk all night if you want. 
All right, these are going in at 425 for three minutes. And then without opening the door, you're actually going to reduce the heat to 350 and bake for an additional 12 to 15 minutes. You'll know when these are done because they'll be lightly golden on top. And of course, you'll be able to insert a toothpick and it'll come out clean. All right, the muffins are out of the oven. They are completely cooled. I'm going to whip up some glaze. I'll show you that. We'll glaze these up and then we'll share the points and the calories. So for the glaze, I added two thirds of a cup of powdered sugar and then one to two tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm going to stir this. We'll add additional lemon juice to get the right glaze consistency. So we have a perfect glaze here. I ended up adding about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. So I'm just going to drizzle this over the top of the muffins. So here are the glazed muffins. These look so absolutely delicious. One tip is to make sure your muffins are completely cool before you add the glaze so that it doesn't melt. But these muffins are only three smart points per muffin. These are huge muffins for three points, 102 calories, and that includes the glaze because we used the Lakanto powdered, so it was zero points to add the glaze. So three smart points, 102 calories per muffin. lunches this week I'm making a chicken and roasted potato bowl I've been craving potatoes so this is going to be the perfect protein veggie packed lunch you're going to need one onion broccoli I just picked up the already cut up broccoli florets you could also do a head of broccoli and cut it up yourself for seasonings you'll need chili powder garlic powder smoked paprika potatoes of your choice I'm doing just these organic red potatoes for my barbecue sauce I'm using the primal kitchen golden barbecue sauce unsweetened 15 calories per serving so zero points it is delicious absolutely delicious if you're looking for an alternative to G Hughes this has perfect ingredients and like I said it's very very good some chicken breast salt and pepper and avocado or olive oil, whatever you have. I'm going to weigh out two pounds of potatoes on my food scale, cut those into quarters, and then I'm gonna dice up the onion as well. It's 1 a.m. and I ain't tired. I can stand right here and talk all night if you want. I ain't got no place to be, no one's waiting for me. After you cut up your potatoes and onions, you're going to add one tablespoon of oil to the top, and then we're going to add paprika. The recipe calls for one teaspoon of paprika one tablespoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And then we're just going to go in and mix this all together to get everything coated in the oil and the seasoning. Onto a sheet pan, we're going to put all of the potatoes and the onion, and we're going to spread it out evenly. Pop it in a 400 degree oven until we can pierce the potatoes with a fork. While the potatoes are in the oven, we're going to cut up our chicken breast into cubes, add it to a skillet here so that we can cook them up separately. We're going to cook the chicken up on the stove. When it's nice and cooked through, we're going to add in the barbecue sauce. Once your chicken is cooked through, you're going to add in one half of a cup of barbecue sauce, stir it together and let it simmer for a couple of minutes chicken is done we're going to just set it aside once the potatoes are soft and can be pierced with the fork we're going to go ahead and slide them over a bit to make room on this side to add in the broccoli we're going to add on the broccoli into the open area drizzle it with a little bit of avocado or olive oil and then pop it back in the oven until the broccoli is crispy so to assemble the bowl, I have just my meal prep bowls here. On one side, we're going to put one sixth of the barbecue chicken. And on the other half of the bowl, we're going to put one sixth of the potatoes and onions, as well as the roasted broccoli. And here's what our bowls look like. These look so delicious. So I'm going to make up the other five. I won't lie, I'm into you. Got like a million ideas what we could do, cause I'm not gonna let the chicken and roasted potato bowls are complete you guys I cannot wait for this lunch it looks incredible such a healthy well-rounded lunch with the potatoes the chicken the broccoli each bowl is seven points on the blue plan one point on the purple plan because you don't have to count chicken or potatoes and 10 points on the green plan because you do have to count chicken 246 calories per bowl 
I can't wait to have this for lunch the entire week. For dessert this week, I'm making pound cake. Now the original recipe actually calls for lemon extract. The recipe is from allrecipes.com. Of course, as always, it will be on my recipe website, but I'm going to substitute almond extract to make it more like an almond pound cake. So you're going to need some eggs, milk of your choice, vanilla extract. I'm using almond extract. You could do a lemon or really any flavor, baking powder, salt, all-purpose flour, and then a sweetener, of course, as always, the monk fruit Lakanto. Again, this is linked down in the description box with the discount, and butter. Lots and lots of butter in pound cake. So let's make dessert. So to start our pound cake, we're going to add three cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. So there's half and then half of that again. And then we're going to give this a stir. We wanna make sure the dry ingredients are well mixed. In a separate bowl, we're going to add two and two thirds cup of the monk fruit sweetener, one and a half cups of light butter, lots of butter. And then we're going to crack in our five eggs. We're going to beat this on low speed until everything is combined. We want that sugar, egg, and butter mixture to be nice and creamy. We're going to add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. And then we're going to add one teaspoon of almond or lemon or whatever extract you're using, as well as one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we are going to stir until combined. And then add in one cup of whatever milk you're using. I chose almond milk into a greased dish. I'm going to do a bundt pan. We are going to pour in the pound cake batter. This smells so buttery and delicious. I'm pretty darn excited for this dessert. Now this is going into a cold oven, so we are not preheating our oven 350 degrees for about an hour and 20 minutes or until we can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. Pound cake is out of the oven. This looks delicious. It's so buttery smelling. So we need to let it cool completely. They said about an hour before we pop it out of the bundt cake pan. So I'm gonna let it cool. I'll be back and then I'll share points and calories so that I can show you serving size. One hour later. So I went ahead and removed it from the bundt pan. It came out absolutely beautifully. I'm going to cut this into 14 servings and I'll be back to share serving size, points and calories. I cut it into a 14 slices. So this is the size of a slice, which is actually very, very good for a slice of pound cake. I am going to top this with some strawberries and some whipped cream. So for 1 14th of the entire bump pan, it is five smart points on both blue and purple. And it's seven points on the green plan because you have to count the eggs that are in the mix. 182 calories. It's delicious. Highly recommend. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I will tell you that I have eaten all three and they are so delicious. We're obsessed with the pound cake. The lunch is very filling and satisfying and you feel like you're getting a lot of food for the smart points and you can't pass up a lemon poppy seed muffin with glaze. So everything is delicious. All three recipes will be on my recipe website. I will link that first down in the description box for you along with links, discount codes to everything I shared with you today and all of my other favorite things. My Facebook group, don't forget to come over and join us there. And of course, nutrition coaching for those personalized macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching. Don't forget to give this video a big, huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Happy Monday, my friends, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.